Uptown, Wild Magnolia, home of the soldiers. One of the most cutthroat projects in New Orleans. And like that boy Jizzle said, get it how you live. Uptown in the motherfucking building, cutthroat to the me show. One, two, three, M A G. N-O-L-I-A. Y'all okay. know what it is. If you live past 94, you're a gangster. And fucking three. Y'all already know. I ain't talking about the twins, a jerk, a man, and nobody talking about dudes you don't even know. That's right. Who be tweaking and wait for something to go so they can squeeze off. Cut through comedians and we be riding on the feet. Cut, cut through. No, cut through. Dog to the bone, bro. All real to the bone. We cut through and we straight up head busting. Ain't no secret. We getting how we live in this thing, you understand? Uh-huh. Mentioning the know you without mentioning the know you twins would be like red beans without rice, Kool Aid without sugar. The twins are some of the realest dudes to ever step foot out of the know you. One thing for sure, two things for certain the twins are always going to keep it 100. The twins will take the social media to expose what happened the night C Murder allegedly slapped Juvie. Donna Kareem in the building. During the height of No Limit Records fame and the start of Cash Money's rise, rumors would start to circulate. Juvie would be interviewed by a well-known rap magazine. In this interview, Juvie would be asked about No Limit Records. C. Murder would not like Juvie's response and wage all-out war on Juve. This controversy would lead to an altercation at the corner pocket, an uptown bar located on Louisiana Avenue that at the time was being run by Jerv, AKA Jerkerman, a well-known hustler out of the Noya. The twins would be repeatedly asked about the altercation by social media bloggers. The Magnolia militia would grow tired of being asked about this situation and give an all out full detail of the events that actually took place that night. Let's listen in as the twins give the actual account of events that took place. From that Willie Fred Evans, Larry, I got partners that was, that was, you know, mm -hmm. Bateman, Brian Dixon, you know, people I'm real cool with, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. they was with us that night. Most of the stories that we tell are not just me and him. Right. People were there that can confirm it, so I don't, don't want to lie. Yeah, I, lying don't do nothing um, for me. Um, y'all were on an interview, y'all were talking about the C murder versus juvenile situation yeah y'all were in the club that was his club I, that was his club okay, I let so, him stop that I so let him stop that because allegedly on uh, somebody titled it that C murder slapped juvenile but that's not what happened so explain nah. what happened yeah now nah, it was a Calio party that night somebody out there caught that female I don't remember her name she had a party that's why they there and basically just the guys who was around C murder and Juve you know it's two the Cali and the Magnolia so Anytime there's that many guys from each hood get close, mm -hmm. it's going to be up. You know what I'm saying? And shit. Cal uh, see, Murder came in there with the Calio. You know, yeah. we had guys, well-known guys, well-known shoes out the Calio with them. But it Big ain't like they took in. over no club. No, nah, not no. A club. It we wasn't got, that. We got guys on the roof and shit. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. It, put it like this, bro. It was too many. But we ain't got no problems with the Calio. Yeah, so. yeah. Not just that. Let me tell you something about the had twins. No let me tell you some other twins, bro. Yeah. If C. Murder came in there and slapped Juvenile, I would have said, hey, he smacked the shit out of Juvenile. Facts. Right. There ain't no knock on me or my project. You can't right. pay for no perks. Yeah, you yeah. can't do it. Get no perks. That's what he did. That's what he did. Yeah. But Juvenile is not the type of dude that's gonna let nobody smack yeah, him. Yeah, I was about to say that. He yeah. ain't that type of dude. We all, we all know him. We, we can all, all say that. Him. You're not gonna smack Juvenile. No, yeah. no. He ignorant. He so gonna it's, fight, it's, he gonna kick, he gonna do, do whatever. So is this one to read? Because again, us being from Texas, we always try to figure out why No Limit and, and them never linked up and did music. It was guys that was around the, them. It's the crews that's around them. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't necessarily it's not them. them. It's not them. It's the dude that's it's around them. them. That's, all, that's always the case. If you, were to, if you were to link up one person from No Limit and one person from uh, Cash Money at the time, that who would you want to see? That. They did that. that oh, Big they did. Mo, rest in peace, Big Mo did a song with BG, man. Ah, yeah. okay. So it was tight. It the was next tight. day, after they had said that Steve Murder allegedly slapped Juvenile, See, murder went on juvenile bus in the Magnolia and did a song with him. Yeah. The next uh, day. Damn. Listen, bro, he did not slap him. Let me tell you this. The Magnolia was in the club deep, deep, deep. And I ain't talking about the twins, a jerk, a man, or nobody talking about dudes you don't even know. That's right. Who be tweaking and wait for something to go so they can squeeze off. Yeah. They, they, they can't wait for something like that to happen. How about when we tell this story, okay, even though I know for a fact we was there, he was there too. Yeah. Guy was there, Ski Boo was there. Ski Boo ain't no chump, man. Really? You gotta ask yourself. Stone? Right. After he slapped him, what he did? 
Yeah, after what that, happened? what he did. What happened after that? Yeah, yeah. All these niggas out the Magnolia just stood there and let that happen? Yeah, he got slapped and whatever, man. That's it? That's not true, bro. Damn. That don't make sense. Goddamn ghost stories, goddamn yeah. it. Um, I'm curious, uh, when Juvenile shot the Han video mm-hmm. in the Know You, um, how big? How how many people knew about that situation going on? How many people were supposed to be there? Like, was it a thing where everybody from the Know You was like, hey, Juvenile shooting a video, uh, let's run it up? Man, it was one of the first times that we seen tour buses and camera vans and lights and shit like that. Right. Yeah, 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 I shot a soldier rack video before that, but it was kind of like, well, I'm out. Yeah, it wasn't that.